You know, there's a new consoles that came out last year. The PS5 and the Xbox Series X. The Xbox Series X came out first on November 10th, with the PlayStation 5 coming out two days later, on November 12th. It's been a little over four months since these two since these two consoles have come out. And in that time, it is still impossible to get. Now I bet you're wondering or new to this or I bet you're wondering, wait, there's a new there's new consoles? If so, why is it still hard to find or why is it still so hard to find even four months at the launch? And that's easy, boys and girls, because of the pandemic that's been going on. Hey guys, Rocket Blade here once again. What's up, everybody? I know this is old, but I this has been in my mind for a while, and I want to get this out there and give you my two cents on the matter. So, and it's an opinion piece on why they should have released it holiday of this year instead of the time they released it last year. 2020... For the most for most people it was a hellscape. Let's be real. People lost their jobs, people lost their lives because of Code C. Code C ruined everything from movies coming out to video games being delayed to jobs like I said, jobs being lost, lives being lost, to business closing down, some recovering, but some never coming back because of this horrible, horrible disease. And Millions of people are unemployed, looking for work as we speak, even now currently, though the numbers have gone down, but still, a lot of people are looking for work. Because in some cases, people, you know, some states, it's still shut down because of how bad it is. In case you're wondering, we have five, we're over four, we're a five, we're, I think we're, last time I checked, we're over 530,000 dead. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. But I do know we're, we're, we're well past 500,000 dead from this deadly disease. So I don't know what possessed Sony and Microsoft to say, seeing all this, hey, let's release brand new gaming consoles in the middle of a pandemic. Funny enough, I think a few days before I was on the Xbox community page on Facebook, I think PlayStation 2. Yeah, I'm on both. And I people were mentioning, oh man, they're excited for the PS5, and they're excited for the Xbox Series X. And I said, good for them, since they're the ones that managed to pre get a pre-order, managed to pre-order it and, and, are, and are getting it on launch day. But I did mention the fact that, you know, maybe considering everything that's going on, which I just mentioned to you, not, not, not just a moment ago, that maybe they should delay it till like around holiday, like maybe around November, of 2021 maybe by then things will have calmed down things will be back to normal and then you know and maybe by then you know you know everyone have a chance to get a console when i said those things folks it is if i've insulted their mother and father people were attacking me saying oh you're just mad because you couldn't pre-order you, you couldn't pre-order pre -order one yourself even though at the time I had plenty of money, so I could have, but I didn't want to. Because let's be honest, even now, four months in to the new console generation, quote unquote, there's nothing I really want. There's not that killer app that I really want. So there's that, even on, on both sides. That's number one. Um, you know, I could get a pre order, or, you know, that's just the way things are. And that's not how the way things are. This is the way it is. No, it is not. Because let me get real for you for one second. Because I've been following this for a long time. For years. If there wasn't this... Because they admitted themselves that there'll be a shortage due to Code C. If Code C wasn't a factor, you would have seen a PS5. You would have seen an Xbox Series X at some point. You know why? Because they because PlayStation... I mean, aka Sony and Microsoft, they think like a regular company. They want to get out as much as they can to a much hand to as much people as possible. So the minute they get word 
that is sold out, they immediately send the following the next batch of consoles. Same thing with Microsoft. Like Microsoft and Sony, they, they hear their consoles right now, they immediately send a batch to that store or that place to refill it so people can get their hands on it so they can, start, so they can buy it and play it and buy their games to get money. They want to get that money ASAP. Nintendo, on the other hand, thinks like a toy company. They wait till it sells out. Maybe wait like a two weeks after they hear about it and being sold out. Then slowly trickle feed, a, a trickle feed, some more out there into the wild. Some little here, little here, little there. So, you know the fear of you know FOMO, the fear of missing out. They think they think like a toy company. They think the more they see people having fun here and you're not having it, people talk about incredible. People talk about how incredible the new system is, and you and you don't having it makes you want it. It sucks. It's annoying, but I hate it because it freaking works. It's like a Nintendo console every single time. It works. It's an annoying tactic. I know what Nintendo is doing, but it works. That's why they continue to do it. But see, but micro, but see, when Microsoft and Sony doesn't do that, they think like they don't think they think like a game. They think like a regular gaming company. Nintendo thinks like a toy company. They would do something like that, not Sony and Microsoft. The only reason why they're they're giving out so little because of Code C. Which brings me to my next point. What I'm trying to make to what I was trying to get to is that whenever something is limited, it sells out like this, like hotcakes. You know, I noticed when a 3DS, because yes, the 3DS did struggle in the beginning, but eventually it did get its footing. And when they started releasing special editions of 3DSs of Mario or Zelda or Pokemon or Fire Emblem. Or Animal Crossing, those things would sell out like hotcakes, and then resold on eBay for double or triple the price. That has happened for any special edition controller, any 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 3DS, the Nintendo release, anything that's special edition or limited quality. The Nintendo, any limited edition the Nintendo release, whether it's a console or handheld or controller, sold out quick, resold for double and triple the price. So when they announced that due to Code C, that PS5 and the Xbox Series X consoles would be limited, I immediately knew that would happen. Of course, people said, you're jealous because you can't get one. That's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just, like, they just told me to shut up. That I, that I don't know, basically, that I don't, that I don't know what I was talking about. Well, D-Day eventually came. And I didn't hear anything for a while. Because maybe they thought, maybe they had a chance. It was it it wouldn't be till the following month or two, around December, January, where I started people hearing not only hearing but hearing people complain how they can't even get a PS five nor an Xbox Series X. I maybe know of all my inner circle of friends, I have a lot of friends, I only know two of them that got a console. Even then, it was by dumb, blind luck. Otherwise, they wouldn't have it right now. By dumb luck. All my friends, Koopa doesn't have one. My friend Robert doesn't have one. Only two of my friends that I know from, 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 from Disney that I work at managed to snag one. And I said it, it was by dumb luck. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in the same group as my other friends that don't have these consoles. So they were right here to put, put Facebook posts, people complaining how they're trying to get they try to get this for their console, trying to get the console for their for their son or daughter or for themselves or for their wife, and they can't get it because it's just because of the because of it being limited. I'm not the type of say I told you so, but I told you so. I told you this was going to happen if they just release it how it is. And now look what's happening. And now, four months deep, we're four months, a little over four months deep into the PS5 and Xbox Series X's release, and I have not seen that console once. I've seen, I have found Nintendo Switch lights. I have found the original Switch. I, I even found a Sega Genesis Mini in the wild, which I did get. Before I even saw a PS5 or an Xbox Series X. Heck, I haven't even seen the Xbox Series X display. That's not even out to be shown. I haven't even seen the display. The only time I even seen the PS5 was on the display. 
on an, in a display case. That's it. Not the um, Xbox Series X at all. I haven't seen no controllers for, for, for either either. For no controls for the Xbox Series X or PS5 at all. Not even the controllers. You at least see the controllers. Not even that. Of course, the games, because you know, you, can, you can manufacture as, much, as many CDs as you can. So that's easy, but consoles? Nope. Nope. Not even a lick. Not even a cent. Like I said, a little over four months in. I haven't seen even one peep of it. They should have delayed it. That's why the only good thing coming out of this is now now games that are only going to be PS5 are now going to be PS4 and PS5. Because now I think they're starting to realize they made a terrible mistake. Because originally, uh, the, the Resident, Evil, uh, Resident Evil The Village, a.k.a. Resident Evil 8, was only going to be on PS5. But I heard rumors that they decided to release it on PS4 because, well... I heard, this is a rumor, so take my word, don't take with a grain of salt, of course. I heard a rumor that they released a demo, I think, before they released it, I think it, the demo was released back in, um, I want to say February. I think they released, or March, around there? No, around February they released the, the, the Resident Evil, yeah, around February they released a demo of Resident Evil 8. But I think it came, I think a month before they came, they released a demo for it on January for the PS5, but no one talked about it, or no one said anything about it. And it, it turns out that, like I said, they found out that most of it is either either the people that managed to do have it, you know, regular folks that, that managed to have the console is not into the game, or is in the hands of scalpers. So they decided to release it on the PS4 demo version of it the following month of February. Then that's when the feedback came in, because, well, everyone has a PS4. A lot of people have a PS4. So then they decided to, to release it on PS4. After all, so a lot of games are not, that, that were once exclusive and now both have PS4 and Xbox. Are both PS4 and PS5 to come out for both consoles just, just for the one. And for those and, and for those of you people worried, because I know that, that, that Square Enix announced a Yuffie DLC. Yeah, Yuffie, the ninja. It was only going to be on PS5, but due to fan backlash, it's not going to be on PS5. I, I'm here to tell you, because I saw an article on GN, that's also now going to be on uh, PS4 as well. Because again, a lot of people don't have a fucking PS5. Again, because of the timing of it. And now, to I need to address the elephant in the room with the scalpers. I, if you, in case you're wondering, yes, I did hear this story of them complaining how, like, oh no, they're painting us as the bad guy. We're not the bad guy. We're, like, providing a service like McDonald's and Chick-fil-A to you, for you to get these consoles. Please don't hate us. Here's the problem with that. It's all you scalpers. Here's the big problem with that. For one, McDonald's and Chick-fil-A don't charge ridiculous prices for their sandwiches. That's number one. Number two, with the con so the, the consoles that you're that you're buying up and and you're selling for double or triple the price are being distributed by Sony and Microsoft. There is a service already there. What you're doing is inconveniently buying them all up with your bots. And then reselling it for tr for th for triple the price, and I would even and maybe just maybe you have a leg to stand on if you were I don't know giving something else like hey if you buy my console yeah it's expensive but I'll throw in two three games in there with it as well with an extra controller or or a headset you know something to spice it up something to make it worth it worth it but no nah, no nah. no nah, it's just the same thing just heavily hiked so they can make a profit and we're supposed to feel sorry for you you can go to hell you can burn in hell i remember back in the day when the what happened back in the day when scalpers did it with the 3ds that that yeah that you yeah, had that, that yeah so what we're doing it you want to fight about that kind of attitude no no now everyone's being all wussified like oh no they're hating us because we're inconvenient then please don't hate us well then here is the crazy idea stop doing it how about that Stop buying up all the consoles so regular folks can buy these, can freaking buy it. Have you thought about that? Maybe they'll stop hating you. But as long as they keep buying them up and then selling it for way past its, its value, and not even like adding stuff to it to make it worth it, it the, the hatred's only going to continue. I'm sorry. I I do not feel sorry for you, for any scalpers that do that crap and, and getting shit for it. You brought it upon yourselves. 
For God's sakes, they're even doing with Pokemon cards. FYI, just so you know, McDonald's made a deal with, you know, with, had, was, was selling Pokemon cards. And now recently they're limited to like one per purchase because people online in McDonald's were buying them in bulk just to, just to get these cards and resell them for like quadruple the price. These are for kids, for God's sake. I heard some horror stories from employees because I because I, 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 I was talking about it my, my, with my friend of mine and I overheard it. And a friendly employee told me how so a couple of them came in, you know, a row of friends came in, bought you know bought it because you know only one at a time you can only one one only one per customer because of, like I said how crazy it is. They will have to buy the meal because they were just buying the toy. They, 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 they will, but they will buy the meal and throw away the meal. They will throw away the meal just to get the freaking card. They'll get the card out and throw away the meal. I mean, wow. I mean, you know, there's, there's like there's homeless people in there by the, the Walmart I go to. You couldn't give it to them or give it to your niece or nephew? I mean, my, what's about being wasteful? I mean, damn. So there's that thing. So then they... So, yes, it's... The, what I'm trying to say is... With, 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 the whole point of this video I'm trying to say is this. Yes, it's the scalper's fault for what's happening. No, do not feel sorry for them. They know what they're doing. They just don't want to feel bad. What they don't want. They don't want to feel bad about what they're doing. No, to continue to shame them so they can cut this crap. But let's also be clear: this is also Sony's and Microsoft's fault as well. As well. I, they knew what the hell was going on. I'm pretty sure they've not, been, they've not been living under a rock. But they decided still to release these consoles despite everything that was going on. Everything. Don't. So yes, it's the scalper's fault, but it's also Sony and Microsoft's fault as well. Shame to both parties or three parties to 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 to, to three parties. You know, scalpers, Sony and Microsoft. Scalpers for quadrupling the price, and then scalpers for quadrupling the price, and Sony and Microsoft for releasing it at a, at a, at the worst possible time, in the middle of a freaking pandemic, where people were worrying about paying their bills, you know, getting a job and worrying on a new console. And for God's sakes, do not raise the price of video games. All right, I've seen games for seventy bucks. No, don't do that. Again, we're we're in a great depression for God's sakes. And your thoughts, let's raise it higher. And then, and then and then you know and, and then because what's gonna happen is gonna backfire in your face, and it's gonna go into business, and then more people are gonna lose jobs because of these dumb because of your dumb decisions. God, it's like this, it's like whoever's running these companies are are, are morons. Just morons. Christ. They should have delayed it until November of this year. By then, it, it would have it, it, there would have been no limited in stock and everyone had a chance to get one. Even now, four months in, <laughs> Nintendo would... I mean, like I said, Microsoft and Sony would have stocked it by now. You would have seen it by now. It would have calmed down by now. Because of everything being, you know, because of COVID... Because of COVID because of Code Z, everything's limited because of it. Nintendo's, like I said, it's a different story. Again, they're a toy company. I didn't get my Wii until six months after the the, the, dang, the dang thing released. Just FYI. So, so. Oh, yeah, Nintendo. Really? The eggs and, and the eggs that you're putting in Pokemon Go is not microtransactions. It's just... I forget. I forget the word they use, but it's like it's not a microtransaction. It's this this place this put fill in corporate word so it's not microtransaction word here that they said. No, no Nintendo. That's no different than EA saying for surprise mechanics. Don't do that, Nintendo. You are above that crap. All right. You are above that crap. And lady, you've been lady, you've been screwing up on your own with as well. Don't do that crap. Don't put microtransactions in um in Pokemon Go. Don't do that crap. No, and no, I'm not gonna call it whatever you're trying to call it. Even which I'm putting in the comment section below what they said. That oh it's not this, it's not microtransaction. It's this blank corporate word. 
to make it sound not as bad. It's like no different than EA saying, oh, it's not microtransaction, it's surprise mechanics. Get the hell out of here, please. We're not idiots, we know what you're doing. Cut that crap out, Nintendo. You're better than this. And <sighs> I'm sorry for those of you who managed, for those of you who managed to get a PS5 and Xbox Series X. I hope you have a great time with them. But for those of you for those of you like me who haven't got one yet, me because I'm waiting. But for those of you who are looking to get one and having a hard time, my condolences again. Blame the scalpers, but also blame Sony and Microsoft as well. They're just they're just as as, as fault as the scalpers. Because if anyone can tell you, like I, like I, like I said, the, the, so the, the point of the 20 minute video is this. This was easily preventable. Had they just released it this year of November, instead of at the time they released it, November 10th slash 12th of 2020, we wouldn't be in this situation. But besides to release it, and, and of course because of everything going on, it being limited, that's why what happened, happened. And why even four months in, we still can't get it. Hope they learned their lesson because it's ridiculous. Again, the only benefit that came out of this is again, is again games that were only going to be on PS5 are now going to be on PS4 as well. Because, well, again, either the people that have the PS5 are into that said game or in the hand of like, scalpers who bought 10, 20 of them. So I guess that's, that's the only good thing. That's the one thing. That's probably the one good thing that came out of it, I guess. So there's that. But still, my condolences. Good luck for y'all. Hope, if, hope you eventually find it and get it, but again, I know I'm repeating myself, but again, but the scalpers, of course, continue to shame the, the MMFers. They deserve to be shamed, but also blame Sony and Microsoft. Because they pulled the trigger on releasing it, <laughs> considering was every, consider everything that was going on. They, they pulled the trigger despite everything that was going on in 2020. Alright guys, that's my videos. Please give me your thoughts. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on the matter. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Those are Rocket Blade. Setting out. Hope to see you guys again real soon. Peace out. Have a great day. Bye-bye.